So I am going to be talking about feet and shoes. Right after I had Jesse, I started having a lot of foot pain. We went on a trip when he was about three and a half months old and we did a lot of walking. And I walked and walked and walked like probably over 100 miles in six weeks. It was great, I did awesome. It wasn't too much foot pain, I did okay. If I had any inflammation at night, I just put my feet up and by morning it was good. But towards the end of the trip, I bought a new pair of hiking boots and they were one of the more expensive pairs of footwear that I've ever bought. And they were super cute. I really liked how they looked. They fit really comfortably. They held my foot nice and snug and they had good arch support. And I was really excited. I didn't wear them right after I bought them. The first day that I wore them, I wore them on the plane ride home. And we had a 11 hour flight, I believe, coming back from Germany. And by the time we got to Canada, the bridge of both of my feet was killing me. It was so painful, I almost couldn't walk. And I hadn't been walking in the boots. I had been on a plane the whole time sitting. But just the pressure right across the top, the bridge part of my foot, had just caused so much pain my feet ached. When we had our layover in Toronto, I actually just walked around barefoot for the whole four hours because I couldn't wear my boots anymore and all my other footwear was in checked baggage and I couldn't get to it. So I didn't keep those boots. I ended up selling them. After that, me and my mom discovered barefoot shoes. And barefoot shoes are basically a more natural way of protecting your feet. They're not meant to give support. They're just there to make sure you don't get sharp rocks in your feet when you walk around. I started looking more into barefoot shoes and barefoot footwear. I had already had an interest in them before, but more from an aesthetic point of view. I liked how they looked. I liked the flat soles. I liked how it looked like you were hardly wearing sandals, but I wasn't willing to put out the money just for a look. So at this point, I started looking into them more for foot health and doing some research. I don't like to spend a lot of money on something I'm not sure about. So I didn't go for them, but I did start searching for something that didn't have a heel, any heel in them. So if there's no heel in them, it's called zero drop, because your toes don't drop down lower than your heel. Mostly I stuck with flats, but even flats have a small heel on the back of them. I found some shoes that were just a thin sole, I could feel the ground under me, they were flat, but they still had a narrow toe bed that cut across my toes like all other shoes do. And they were okay when I was walking. When Jesse was about a year and a half old, I started running a lot and I worked my way up to running about two miles a day and I loved it. But a couple weeks into that, my feet wearing those shoes, they ended up in so much pain again. I got to the point where I actually had to stop running for about two and a half weeks. My feet just ached. I could handle walking, but running was terrible. And so at that point, I looked into barefoot shoes again. A friend of mine had ordered Zero Shoes sandals a few years before, so I was familiar with their brand. And as I looked around at other brands, they were so much more expensive. So I went with Zeros. After I ordered them, it still took about a week before all of my pain in my feet cleared up. But since then, I have had only one foot injury. I run in my zeros, and my, I run in my sandals. After my foot pain cleared up, I started running again and I had no problems, I had no recurrences. The only time I've had a foot injury since then was actually in Galveston just a few months ago when I was running on the beach and I actually ran, not in barefoot shoes, I actually ran barefoot. So I'm not sure what I did there. I was running on hard, cold sand. I really, really pushed myself hard. I hadn't been to the gym in a few months. I just got out there and I just, I ran over three miles and it felt so good. And my feet didn't hurt initially, but I ran that and then I walked back the three miles through cold water. So I don't know what it was, the combination of all of those factors. Then I did start to feel some inflammation and the next day went with Michael for a three and a half mile walk and that walk just it just put my feet over the top I was in a lot of pain for a while so I don't know what I did but that was not in a barefoot shoe that was barefoot and likely due to other factors but just straight up pain from running or pain from being in a tight shoe, it doesn't happen. They have a really wide toe bed, so all your toes can spread out and sit naturally how your foot was designed to. And I love that. I ordered my first pair of 
DIY sandals. So you just get this little piece of leather and you have to punch your own toe hole and then you thread your laces how you want and there's a lot of different tying techniques that you can use and you can get them in two different thicknesses. And I ordered the thicker sole to start with because I just wasn't sure how thin the thinner sole was and I was so nervous. But when they came, I was a little disappointed because I couldn't feel the ground as much as I wanted to. So what I ended up doing was giving that pair to Adri because she was kind of interested in them. And I ordered myself another pair and I ordered the thinner sole. I am still wearing them. Jessie's gonna be four this summer. So I've been wearing them for two and a half years and I love them. They're great. They have barely any wear on the tread on the bottom of them. Through the summer, they are my primary footwear. I don't own any other sandals and I don't wear anything else unless I'm dressing up and I wear my zero shoes ankle boots or if I'm going to the gym and I wear my running shoes, that's it. That's all I wear. I own three pairs of shoes. I don't own anything else at this point. There's a few other zero shoes styles that I'd love to get, but I do not own them yet. And I don't really have space on my shoe shelf for them. So right now I'm good with what I have. My shoes and my ankle boots are fine on any terrain. They're great. I can run in any of them. You can hike in any of them. The tread is great. Even on the sandals, they don't slip on wet ground. They're awesome. I love them so much. I have bought the DIY kits for my kids which is even more DIY than me and Adri sandals because it's literally a rectangle of rubber and you trace their foot out and cut it out and punch all your own holes. So we've already done those for Bethany and Emily and I have rubber left to do some for Rebecca and for Jesse. So we will get theirs cut in the next few weeks because it's now warm enough for them to be in sandals again. Alex, we're not gonna do the barefoot sandals for him just because they don't have any toe coverage and he's a little bit more clumsy on his feet and we're just worried about toe injuries with having his toes uncovered. So I will have to look for a good pair of covered toe sandals for him. I don't know if I'll be able to get barefoot. Sometimes I just get water shoes for through the summer because you can get water shoes that are zero drop. They're just a really great alternative that's a lot cheaper but still has that toe coverage for kids. So if you're interested in zero shoes for yourself, check out their website. We have a link in our description and see if you think that barefoot shoes will work for you. All right. How do you like those shoes, Michael? All these shoes are excellent. I jump higher, I uh, run faster, walk slower. I can believe that. <laughs> No, I do like them. They're very comfortable. I've always liked Converse shoes, and these are kind of like those, except I look like I'm in junior high. And they're comfortable? Oh my goodness, yes. I do really enjoy them. I like them. They're very minimal. I like minimal. I don't like flashy. They're completely black, kind of like Inspector Gadget. So I'm sure a few of you have caught at this point that I'm a very self-proclaimed hippie. I wash my hair with only edible substances. I only wash my hair twice a week. I only use homemade cosmetics aside from organic makeup sometimes. I don't know if you can see my feet. Mostly I go around barefoot. When it comes to shoes, these are the ones that I wear most often. I've had them for two, two and a half years so far. They're pretty much homemade. I've sanded them down so that they fit my exact foot shape and I've knotted this thread into it completely by myself. And they basically just slip on. And I pick neutral colors so that they match with pretty much everything because that's how I like my clothes. Other than these though, I also have pair of sneakers for when working out or hiking because these honestly don't cut it when you're going up a mountain. So I needed to get some actual sneakers for that. It's the same thickness of heel all the way down the whole shoe. There's no extra padding here and there's no arch support. It's just a flat sole all the way through. I also have a pair of winter slash fall boots that I've had for about two years as well. These are amazing. I love these things so much. It cost quite a bit of money, but I was willing to pay that because same thing. They have a thin sole insulation on the inside so they stay nice and warm. And another thing about these kinds of shoes is instead of it being a thin width where it's squashing your toes together because some people have very wide feet, they try to keep it as wide as possible so that when you step your toes have room to spread out as though walking barefoot. So I can wear thicker socks with these and still have tons of room inside to move around and thinner socks and still feel like they fit just fine. If I'm just hanging around the bus, I try to go barefoot with no shoes at all because I just like to do this. 
more comfortable for me. But if we're actually going out somewhere and I'm supposed to look decent, I will wear shoes. All my favorite kinds of shoes to wear. We'll put the links to all of them in the description below.